Kudzu, 2012, A Screwball Tragedy in Two Acts by Tracy Baxter. Various locations in and near West Oakland. Time, 2012. The experience begins with a projector casting images across the stage of the follies and fads accompanying the surge of tech workers in Oakland. In the rolling riot of hipster and millennial iconography, Paps blue ribbon cans, ukuleles, cupcakes, food trucks, pricey baby strollers, skinny pants, neck tattoos, huge black glasses, iPads, grilled cheese sandwiches, poutine, hillbilly beards, Neil Robert Baron coffers, First Friday art, wearable technology, personal drones, city chickens, company logos, Lyft, Uber, Twitter, Facebook, Spoon Rocket are woven in. Also, worrisome headlines about the tech industry from abysmal stats on PLC hiring in the industry to the sexist antics of tech execs, sexual harassment, girlfriend beatings, revenge porn, more possibilities. Assorted bad actors such as Spring Breakers and Millennial Pumpkin Festival rioters, murderous cops, crazies holding skunks in their mouths, protesters screaming at Google work shuttles, artists defacing public lands. Mix in the faces of leading cultural appropriators like Miley Cyrus, Macklemore, Iggy Azalea, Katy Perry, Halloween, and Robin Thicke, and white frat members and Halloween revelers in black, red, and yellow face. Interspersed headlines about high rents in San Francisco, the cultural renaissance of Oakland, and real estate opportunities. Still more, dubious epical statements such as, kale is a new collar. We're optimizing for this ecosystem. The right people, the right places, the right now. Yay, 2012. Act one, scene one. War-filled living room. It's the dead of night and all is dark and silent in the war-filled home in Tell. Oh, 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 oh my god, yes, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> After several excruciating moments, a robed figure, Angela, shuffles wearily out into the living room, carrying bedding. She lies down on the couch, presses two pillows against her head to block out the noise. Oh. Morning arrives. The war-filled home, working class, neat-ish, but lived and loved in, with a large TV, prominently positioned, decorated with family bric-a-brac and not bad watercolor renderings of still life. The war-filled siblings as babies has come to life. Angela is dressed. She sips from a cup of coffee as she puts the bedding away. Enter Melbert. Hey, hey. Up long? A while. The grunting woke me up and I couldn't get back to sleep. Oh. I didn't want to sweat all over you either. Could have turned on the fan. I wouldn't have minded. Okay to turn the sound. I want to catch the focus hurting my rain. <laughs> rain. I wonder if it's still wet and cool. <laughs> Caffeine not good for hot flashes. You're not still drinking coffee, are you? I am not. <laughs> On the other side of the stage stands Tracy Moorhead, wearing an apron and a toque and holding a spatula, <laughs> a glassy smile on her face as she waits for her cue. Suddenly, a newscast intro, jarring, slickly momentous, startles her and we see Clark David and tech entrepreneur Zach Connor seated just a few feet away from her. Hello, this is Clark David with the very first in an ongoing series of reports on technology in the Bay Area, Tech Talk. What happened to the cheap beat segment? Isn't it time for... Bite This Bay Area with Tracy Moorhead is on hiatus. <laughs> he likes saying that. Moorhead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knows it. <laughs> uh, Dave, let the viewers know Bite This will be back. It's in my contract. We both have contracts, Tracy. So it's both. Bite this, we'll be back eventually. But now let's talk tech with Tech Talk. Okay? From the ways we find a new restaurant to the ways we spark a new romance, technology has revolutionized virtually every aspect of our lives, freeing up more time to do more of the things we love. Yeah, we love looking at screens all day. Makes my eyes water. But can technology be harnessed and deployed to solve the most persistent problems facing our cities today? Zachary Gomez seems to think so. 
He says, by applying a data-driven approach to, well, the pursuit of happiness, we can transform the urban landscape as never before. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Zach, for joining us today. Great to be here. Making cities a better tall order? Tell our viewers, how do you plan to realize this ambitious goal? Young people have always flocked to urban cities to pursue their dreams. And when that happened, urban areas naturally improved. But just sort of in a random, uncontrolled way. We can do better. We have to. Inner cities need, to, need us to. They're dirty, crime-ridden, stagnant, unloved. We just can't leave positive chains to chance anymore. We haven't kept up. Instead, what about leveraging technology to analyze our aspirations and direct us to the best uh, opportunities for success? To make our dreams come to life, where they can do the most good. Boom! My company, Optimum Synergy Match, awesome, was born. Oh my god, that's Zach Connor. You know this guy. My data structure study group went to Death Today, Death Tomorrow, Death Forever conference last year. He was the keynote speaker. I've been to all his chat talks. Can you break down the app for us? <laughs> well, it's a people curation tool. It collects and analyzes key personal data to assign the right people to the right places at the right time. Since the essential problem in these cities is the people in them, the solution is people. He's got that right. Now, how is the problem people? Oh, too many black folk, not enough white folk, is what he's saying. I didn't hear him say any of that. It's what he means. See, mama, you don't even know nothing about it. Folks are on the move all from all across the country because of his apps. When I finish my IT certification program, I'm going to try it. See where I can be my best self. Is that why these motherfuckers are all over the place Come now? Come on, man. You know, why do you have to show them here? This is what I know. I can't walk down my own damn street anymore without somebody trying to walk directly through me. Like the rule is, I'm supposed to move for them. Do I look like a pigeon? No, no, no. Oakland pigeon. <laughs> I tell them to walk over and walk over their feet. If they don't treat me like I don't exist, they're staring at my clothes, at my hair. They don't bother to pretend they're not either. And little Shayla, Haley, whatever her damn name is, <laughs> she's around the Tasmanian devil. Hideous, <laughs> goodwill dresses, talk to you any which way, do you? You know what she had the nerve to tell me. What, Mama? She, she was picking up some trash outside the house, my house, and she said, we are taking back the neighborhood. And I was like, who are we? <laughs> and how are you going to come up to me like I never pick up around here when I'm always picking up around here trying to keep my things clean? Mama, did you say anything to her directly? Is that why she keeps looking at me funny? I did not. <laughs> you know, but, but I should have. <laughs> I know what all this looks like. One after the other, a cute little cafe, a fake little dive bar where the real dive bar used to be, and bam, they're changing the name of your neighborhood to Lower This and South of That, and you're out. Evicted. <clears throat> Looks like somebody had enough coffee today. <laughs> Sounds impressive. Dream big or go home. But some of the Bay Area are complaining about the hipsters and techies that are irreparably altering the region's culture, homogenizing its character. What do you say to that? First, techies? Come on, not a thing. Upload vacation photos, order books online, and you're one of those techies, right? Hmm. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Wait a minute, Clark. It's not quite the same. Same with hipsters. These are college grads, young people, whip smart, entrepreneurial. Passionate about doing good things. Look, there is no industry more closely aligned with the quirky, rebellious culture of the Bay Area than tech. It's not about labels. It's about vision. And we are here to make the world a better place. We are here to change everything. Mama, telephone. Who is it? <laughs> Man, how, how in the hell are they supposed to do that? Gets up to 80 degrees in February. It's so hot, the bees don't know what to do. They try to buzz, but it's just like, a huh, they all drop to the ground, change their little stairs, they fall off. And let them change that. The guy from Echo Grocer. Oh, 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 don't, don't throw the phone. I'm not. I told you, don't! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Angela. 
love. How does Oakland fit in this grand scheme of yours? <laughs> Oakland doesn't quite get this, but it has wow factor. It's incredible. The vibe, raw materials, open space. Top place in the world to visit this year, according to TechStream, and Digiality's eighth most promising startup city. Not bad. And not to you know, toot my own horn, but I think that the awesome app played a role in putting Oakland on the map. Oakland covers 80 square miles and has for years its own maps, okay? Oh, oh, uh, yes, <laughs> uh, yes, of course I can be there at nine. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> General manager is on site today. They want me to come to me. <laughs> In fact, this is just where programmers and engineers, hackers, founders, and makers want to be, need to be, if they're going to inspire this place to turn things around. Don't turn that down. Baby, you are number one. So does that mean awesome's coming to Oakland? Is this an announcement? Uh, yep. What? Oh my god. Get, Get ready, ready to for a better Oakland. Oakland. <laughs> the awesome app points the way to the future, matching innovators to their greatest potential. So I created a company persona, used it with the app to find ground zero for game changing. Oakland. In fact, West Oakland. The only match result. Awesome headquarters is moving in. Brilliant. I cannot hear myself think. Please turn that down. Dude, get my rap and my bike. Two years of looking high and looking low, real low, nothing. <laughs> they want four years experience in produce. I got six. <laughs> June returns with Angela's bike and rap. Angela wraps her head. <sighs> Don't even worry about it, Mom. You got this. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Ooh, pass me that. <laughs> you, you sure about that, baby? Oh, you're gonna keep it bubbling. <laughs> oh, June. Huh? Uh, you see that plate in the refrigerator? Yep. Run it over to Miss Mabry so she don't forget to eat. <laughs> Miss Mabry start talking and telling all those same stories. I heard the one about her pushing the cop in Lake Barrett over and over again. I, I think, I think, Tamika. Nice try, but I have class. Mm, she has a class, <laughs> and I'm asking you, to take a piece of that uh, 7 Up cake, too. Ooh, I feel good about this one, y'all. Real good. You got this, Mama. Go on with your bad self, baby. <laughs> Angela walks out with the bike, blowing kisses happily. Tamika turns up the TV's volume. <laughs> Think of it as a takeover. <laughs> I mean makeover. <laughs> a long overdue makeover. A makeover with thousands, potentially tens of thousands of people. The best and brightest, redesigning the landscape with new ideas and fresh blood. People who love this city like their own and want to see it be all it can be. I think we can finally move the needle. Looking for a new place now. <laughs> well, this is exciting news. What's that you're drinking? Is that a kale smoothie? <laughs> My consumption of kale smoothies has been vastly overstated. No, this is actually much better. This. June, dancing around the TV, trips over the cord, turning it off. Hey! Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> uh, I told Michael. I told him. He's the only one who was like, let's get, into, let's get into programming. Let's get into programming. We do that first semester, but then he just stopped coming to class. Knucklehead. My girl Misha too just stopped coming. I was wondering why I didn't see him around here anymore. You say why? No, acted a fool at the dead forever like he'd never seen so many white people before and disappeared. Misha doing home care now. <clears throat> look, now look. Oakland's on the come up. <laughs> if people don't want to do nothing, that's on them, but I'm all about it. He was not like that when I was a boy. Uh, I know where this is going, Dad. And these kids don't know how to focus on anything and build themselves up anymore. All oh, they want. Oh, why you don't look at me? I got a job. Dancing on bar train with your pants falling down is not what I had. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Dad? Mr. Bojangles makes fifteen dollars a stop. Sometimes twenty, most of the time. And I like what I do. Shoot, I make my own hours. And I pay rent, unlike 
other people around here. Sneaka. I was still in school, though. Uh oh. First it was hair, then it was hospitality. And now it's tech, with one semester left, okay? I'm going to give me another job. So I'm going to be a bar barista. And all the honeys, they're going to come and be like, can you put extra caramel on my humongo frappa wackachino june? And I'm going to be like, yeah, baby. Give me as much caramel on your humongous frappa wackachino as you want, baby. <laughs> and then I'm going to get my GED too. Watch me. <laughs> I pushed his ass up into Lake Mary. Oh, that's a funny one. Miss Maverick, tell me another one about the cop who put you pushed the cop into Lake Mary. Oh, yeah. That cop, that cracker thought I wasn't. But I had to let him have it. I let him have it. <laughs> I'm out, Melbert. Have a good day to me. Melbert's phone rings. He's surprised to see who it is. Yeah, Bubble? So, I got that wrong. They wanted me to meet the new produce manager, not B. They offered me an on-call check again. Said they had a perfect candidate and had to go with their gut. Not a lot of experience, they told me straight up. So, they want me to help the new manager learn the ropes, okay? <laughs> Big, 6'2", six 6'3", six dreadlocks, long calf tan, named Sally. No last name, just Sally. And Act 1, Scene 1. Act 1, Scene 2. Broadway Street, Downtown Oakland. It's good. Downtown's been dead for so long. It needed some zip. Whoo, now wow, pow, whoo! Everywhere you look from one day to the next, something's changing. And people you've never seen before are all over the place, staring. My buildings. What they see? The change makers, two very industrious white millennials enter. Angelo watched them look around with greedy, appraising eyes. They gleefully remove existing business signs and replace them with signs that read, Tattoo You, a tattooing school, a canine body work studio called Daga, and Tyrone's Hideaway becomes Das Beer Garden. Oakland! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there's only two flavors of these people, lounge Scratchy. What? Loungy and scratchy. And <laughs> never seem to be in a hurry unless they're running for no reason. Just walk around in flip flops, flipping and flopping. Oh, come on. Be fair. That's stereotyping. Two kinds with two things in common drink all the time and vomit anywhere. And it always looks like hot pink spaghettios. Oh, oh, oh. And their curtains are always wide open. Here I am. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> mm. You know how you could tell white people who are actually from Oakland? How? They can dance. <laughs> now, they might not look at it at first, but if there's some sort of celebration going on, they might just surprise you on the floor. Get into a little rock and stay on beat. <laughs> Be old, too. It tickles me. And let them try. Let them try to say, <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you know, kind of. They're, they're living their lives. Black people aren't some mysterious, dangerous boogie them boogeyman to them. Lots of real cool people. More than in the city, that's for sure. Wait a minute, are you from Oakland? Moved to San Francisco in 96. Tamika's father turned out to be whiter <laughs> than I originally thought. I kicked him out. Then I got evicted. <clears throat> Big flat too, up on McAllister, close to Baker. Always foggy. You can smell the eucalyptus from the park right in that little broke ass zone before you get up around USF. <laughs> or, or was it that little, or was it the poor folks until everybody started getting booted out left and right? I mean, San Francisco was already too expensive to move to another place in the city, so when the landlord slipped the note under my door, I had to go. I was all, I was all hurt about it at first, but, but I liked it here. You know, people, people nodded and, and waved at you, said hi, simply because they saw you. You saw them. But why not, you know? But, uh, but that's changing them too. 
Come oh, wow. on, come on. This is Oakland, the most diverse city in the country. Everybody's welcome. No, and not everybody's nice. And not everybody got manners. The people coming in here are not friendly at all. Oh, when people aren't friendly, you, you don't know what they're going through. I mean, who knows what they're thinking or, you know, if they have all their mental faculties and, you know, uh, what if they're just socially awkward or painfully shy? I mean, maybe, I don't know, somebody's grandfather died. It might not have anything to do with you. And, you know, you're not the center of the universe. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, maybe you're just angry. Gee, who could be your own problem? <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe it's me now. I mean, I, I know I'm freaking out. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm jumping all over Tamika these days. I, I can't even lie. It could be me. I, I went to the bathroom uh, the other night and, and all of a sudden I just wanted to run down the hall. I still, I still couldn't tell you why. And, and when I get my period now, oh God, it's, it's just like, um, it's just like I, I'm getting pulled apart. I'm a damn mess. <sighs> Anyways, um, Gotta get out. Sally scheduled a new team member touch base and a share out, whatever the hell that is. What the hell is that? You know? Uh, okay, um, I'm, I'm running late. Whew. I, I'm really gonna try. Angela races off stage. The change makers watch with immense satisfaction as she exits. They affix signs, crackheads keep out, guard dog on duty, and neighborhood watch. Oakland! <laughs> End Act 1, Scene 2. Act 1, Scene 3. Eco Grocer at the team member meeting. Well, well, uh, you know, what are you waiting for? Come in, come in, welcome. And just so you know, we did try to uh, get our team meetings underway on time. Uh, so it's probably a good idea if you uh, plan ahead a little bit so you don't miss anything. Sorry. Not singling you out, Angela Elaine Warfield. Just FYI. Another team member enters. Angela is shocked to see that it's Kaylee. In the briefest of moments, Kaylee notices Angela with distaste and then proceeds to ignore her. <laughs> Sally smiles with soft vanilla events at Kaylee and waves her in. Okay, okay, let's wrap up the share out with new hire intros, okay? We like to think of the eco grocery team as family, right? So, share like a family and new hires. You can start by stating your name, where you're from, and Name a few interests that you, that, you know, take it anywhere you like. And, here you go, my love. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> my name is Kaylee. Um, okay, y'all. First, uh, you need to know that I am a beer snob. <laughs> I don't drink any beer that's not craft. Um, I've already been to a great, authentic beer garden. It's on Telegraph. It's called Das Beer Garten. I know, right? <laughs> and they like, name all their beer after classic novels. I love, love, love The Handmaid's Ale. <laughs> and, guys, I just moved to Oakland from like Rats Ass, Indiana. I love Oakland. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I hella love Oakland. Uh. I mean, I feel like anything is possible for me here, you know? Like, it's not like anybody really knows me. Like, I can be who I want. I can do what I want. Like, no questions asked. <laughs> is that an artist who works with fire? Like uh, an arsonist? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> or is that an artist who works with the homeless? Like, pieces of them, I mean? Ah, uh, like a thrill killer. Okay, yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, I, I'd definitely be like a, like lovable underneath. I'd have a good reason. I'd also like it. And I was thinking of launching my own food truck, Cool Beans. We'd serve like white trash comfort food um, with my own like artisanal twist. Angus beef jerky, <laughs> deviled quail eggs, 
sea saltines. It'd be expensive, but it tastes really horrible. <laughs> Brimming with bad ideas, more than a little sociopathic. <laughs> Management material for sure. And <laughs> you adorable pixie. Okay, <laughs> am I missing anyone? Okie uh, Well, well, um, what I'm going to do is maybe I should, oh, hmm, and that is a wrap. I can give you back about six minutes. What about you, Sally? Unless you already said something. I mean, uh, I was late. I don't know. I'm really sorry about that, but I was cutting myself. What? <laughs> um, well, okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to, but um, maybe I should. Uh, okay. okay, here it goes. Um, all my life, I've been hiding. And don't let people see who you are. Don't. I was trying to do other things people wanted me to do, like get married, be a dad. Uh, yet, I've always felt broken. Physically disconnected, you know? And I finally got though that by denying who I was, I was lying. And I was not only lying to me, I was lying to you, and you, and you. <laughs> and so I turned myself inside out, did a little remodeling, and um, now this girl lives her truth. I mean, yes, I own it. I own it. And, I bring my whole self to work. Finding acceptance has been so, so hard, really. But this journey has led me here with all of you. And um, now I'm free at last. Free at last. God almighty, I am free at last. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, thank you for letting us see the beauty inside you, Sally. When so many people have everything and like struggle with nothing and like can't even be bothered to pick up a litter. You're just you. This is a family, the eco brochure family. And I think I speak for all of us um, that we believe in you, we really do. Hi, uh, my name is The New Black. <laughs> the New Black! You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was kind of getting tired of the old black. Um, <laughs> what just. How? Shaken and confused, Angela walks into the bathroom and splashes her face at the sink. When she looks up, there's Sally. Ooh, how you doing, babe? Ooh, oh, you scared me. <laughs> now why would I scare you, girlfriend? Ooh, if my booty gets any bigger, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Holla if you hear me, queen. <laughs> my name is Angela. What you talking about? I know who you is, sis. Oh my girl. Mm. I know just the condition and excuse for these dry locks. Oh girl, it is all about the moisture. My Ooh. name is Angela. I'd really like it if you just called me Angela. Okay, Angela Elaine Warfield. Thank you. <laughs> Sally watches intently as Angela adjusts her clothing and applies lipstick. And Act 1, Scene 3. Act 1, Scene 4. Angela's Kitchen. Oh, well, you know, like this, like that. Still getting used to the, the culture. All those young people, all these different assignments, but, but you know me. I like groceries, so, so I'm hanging in there. Let me tell you, let me tell you this though. Sally told me she had something she wanted me to see. Followed me into the bathroom, took out her phone, showed me a picture. And there she was, you know, on the bed, lying on her back with her legs up in the air, just like a pinup. Teddy pulled down with those big bionic boobs. Yeah! <laughs> what did I say? 
And I said, that's my boss. So, so what do you think? I said, I was like, all right now, are we the one? We are coming out there. Oh, no, it, it's not just the hot weather. You know, you know I can't stand all that heat, especially now. Well, nobody told you to move your rusty, dusty Las Vegas know-how. Oh, well, who do you know? Who do you know? I mean, what is out there besides hot? <laughs> oh, is that dunce? Jolly, jolly, honey. Ooh, I told Miller, please don't let that man back in here. He's your friend. I mean, I let's keep him at the front door. But he just wanders from room to room like a big, dumb baby. I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend nobody's home. I'm going to hide in my studio and pay. Well, I know it's a closet, but it's, it's cute. Shut up. Always, always got something to say about something. I'm Johnny, Johnny, Ali. Can have a record studio in his garage. My closet can be in the studio. It's an office, too. Well, what you got to say about that? Oh, God, let me go. The doorbell rings again as Angela tips toes away. And Act 1, Scene 4. Act 1, Scene 5. The mayor's office. Melbourne enters. Mayor! Mayor, are you here? I got your voicemail and came right over. Didn't see Mindy out in the front, so I thought I'd come and check. That girl is never out of this. Oh! Oh, you scared me! <laughs> Why would I scare you? Didn't expect to see you in the man's chair. <laughs> Looks like you running the show. Well, Oakland CEO. I like the sound of that. A jubilant mayor enters. We have it. Funding. Where's Miss Mabry? Oh, Mayor, what? What? <laughs> I knew you'd come through, Mayor. I knew it. Young man, young man, young man. <laughs> mayor and I have been talking for years about getting 20 Webster back in shape. Used to be where they had the Marcus Garvey United Negro Improvement Association meetings way, way back in the day. Then the, then the Pullman Porters used it for a while. And then after that, there were the Black Panther breakfasts and those after school programs. But you know how folks get into a bind, don't stay on top of the finances like they should. Got sold off. Yes. We have hella funding. We were able to get the property back and make the most of it. Is Miss Mabry here or what? I've been dreaming about it. A place for black folks and every day by and everybody in Oakland really to remember what the old town was all about. Now we we forgotten a lot of it and then the outside as well. And you had to be there. <laughs> not a museum, not a library, not even a school, but a place to come to an understanding. Away from all that mess out there. Now we might plant some fruit and some veggies so the kids See, see what food comes from. What? Well, you know, we still want to have classes too. Some, some job training. I'm sensing a little swirl around this. Swirl? Oh no. There's no swirl, Melbourne. We have hella funding because Zach Connor wants to take over the building for the awesome HQ. Awesome. I saw you on television. Uh, that's where I know you from. Yeah, but... Awesome, uh, awesome. We'll occupy the whole thing. Probably even a few of the adjacent properties to the lot, Mayor, and uh, that big Victorian next to it, uh, that'd be great for the compound. But to start, it's the only place for Awesome's world-class team for game-changing disruption. I realize this might be a little different from what we had in mind, Melbourne. We have to move with the times. Be hella entrepreneurial, right? Right. Oakland's moment is now. We have to lean in hard and make bets if we're going to get in the game. We clear the deck. We optimize for the ecosystem. 20 Webster is the tip of the spear, a disruptive, world-class, cutting-edge spear right into the heart of Oakland. Hmm. Does that make sense? <sighs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Lean in harder, Milbert. Uh, Mayor, we want, we want a, a people's space, right? I hear you, Mel. And, and we share that vision. If we disagree on anything, it's the go forward. Oakland 
is in startup mode. We need to be nimble. Well, will there, will there be jobs? <laughs> Innovators aren't in it for the money. I'm not. <laughs> My passion is change. But there will be jobs, yes? Sure, right, yeah, jobs. <laughs> for every tech position, at least four other roles. Food, cleaning, security, hey, even shuttle drivers eventually. Entertainment. Lots of that dancing in Oakland, right? <laughs> cool. Uh, we are new neo-urbanists. You feel me? Shake. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, what what, what do, does that mean, neo-urbanists? Uh, are you from New York or Los Angeles or Chicago? Seattle, Austin, whatever. Whatever visionaries are needed to make the old new again, that's where I'm from in spirit. Now, I'm from Oakland. Look at those tech jobs. They, they pay good money? Relatively speaking, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, the community will be the first in line for them. Listen, this is not about setting anything aside. That's insulting to everyone. I didn't mean to be insulting nobody, young man. It's just, it's just that, 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 that apart from my daughter, I don't know too many people into technology, but how, how many black folks are in tech? Whoa, whoa, hey. Tech is about merit. Why bring race into this? I don't see, I don't see race. You know, if, if, if you have what it takes and there's a strong cultural fit, then you have what it takes. It doesn't matter if you're whatever. I, I just realized you're African American. Oh my God. And I'm like, whatever. Uh, cultural, um, I'm not sure. I, what that means. <laughs> we have to get our act together, Melbert. We have kids who don't even have high school diplomas. But but we also have kids who do, and, and adults <laughs> who already know about this stuff. Even I don't know. And adults who want to, to know and can be trained and, and do the job good. And so how do we do the outreach? Where do we start? Outreach? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I get it, Millie Mel. You want guarantees. Well, I gotta tell you, there are no guarantees. There, there is, however, space for disruption. What? You talking about those mass battles tearing up downtown Broadway again? Like, I, I don't want no part of that. No, no, no. An educational initiative led by Awesome that aligns people for work. Oh, now I see. Now you're talking, young man. Uh-huh. An agile, scrappy education that pumps a new generation of coders through the pipeline without classrooms, books, boring teachers, or why am I doing this, please kill me now classes. Hold on now. You never know about those why am I doing this class. Ethics, civics, toxic. I <laughs> really, son? I read books to pick up new things. Yeah, there are apps for that. Boost your brain power. Meet your soulmate. Find your, get your, uh, fund your dreams of making potato salad or any other creamy side dish. It's all covered. Bottom line: teach youngsters to code, and they won't have time for books either. They'll be too busy doing what they love, making incredibly cool stuff. No classrooms. No, no books. Not one. Mobile device learning. Online tutorials, smartphone reading, and, and for high performers, e-mentoring. Real time, one-on-one. -on -one. You said you had a daughter, right? I'll do her. Uh, I'm not <laughs> worried about my daughter. She already knows this is what she wants to do. Now, now my son. Okay, all right. I'll mentor your son and your daughter. No problem. I don't know. Melbourne, we need a hell of buy-in right now. We need West Oakland Neighborhood Association, whatever's left of it. And Miss Mabel to come out in strong favor of awesome moving in. Issue a joint statement from the two of you. It'll look hella good. Optics. Optics. Mm -hmm. Zach is willing to help. A national heritage site. An arts and ideas space. A farm. Those are good on paper. But this building? This building could be demolished for condos any day if Zach doesn't intervene. Here's what you need to know, Mel. More people today have access to a cell phone than a flush toilet. A 
Maasai warrior with a smartphone carries in his hand access to more information than the President of the United States did 15 years ago. So this is kind of a big deal. Technology isn't going away. It's only getting, going to get bigger. We've never lived like this before and we'll never live like this any other way. The people leading the way to put the coolest, boldest, most innovative apps in a Maasai warrior smartphone could be right here in your backyard. Work with me. This is how we score a win for Oakland. I, I, I'll do what I can. But Miss Mayberry is old, you know. Too old to go out and organize the way all we all used to. And not as scrappy as she used to be. That's actually good to hear. <laughs> Getting a little feeble minded, too. Poor thing. Uh, Jane tells, uh, the mayor tells me that you two were in the trenches together. Neighborhood activists, she she went to elected office, you kept fighting in the good fight? God, I, I don't have that strong taste for politics to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I worked at the port and retired early because, you know, my, my back. And now I, I volunteer when I can. Okay, well, you know, you're still passionate and energetic. Melbert, I, I could use you. Awesome needs uh, an amazing senior community consultant for awesome cares. Mm -hmm. I see you in that role for a salary, a very generous salary. <laughs> well, uh, it's always good to bring in some, an extra income. Uh -huh. I'll think about that too now. Uh, what kind of cool stuff exactly? All right, I'll ping you. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get to those crisp tax incentives. Yes. All right. Yes, crisp. Win, 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 win. Let's go. <laughs> In Act 1, C5. Act 1, Scene 6, the war filled living room. Angela and June are smoking weed. You know how when you are coming up to the register with your card and somebody else is coming up right about just the same time. Yep. Yep. I decided today I didn't want to stop and I got there first. I start taking my things out of my car and next thing I know. On my shoulder. Excuse me, it's good that you were shouting at you, but that doesn't mean you could. What? <laughs> what does she look like? George Washington. <laughs> she look like George Washington, Mama? She look like George Washington? <laughs> <laughs> Not even as pretty as, as Playboy Tommy. I know you wanted Jefferson Boy. <laughs> <but. laughs> What? Now, now, how's she supposed to? Was I supposed to wait for her? Or was I supposed to, was it? Roll out the, the red, red carpet. carpet. Yeah, and, yeah and, and pay for her groceries too, and, and take her to her car, and drive her up to her house, and put her shit away. <laughs> and I, I looked at her, oh, I looked at her, and I said, if you had been in front of me, you would be in front of me. Right. <laughs> Ah, bad logic. <laughs> Baps. Did she argue with that? How could she? You do them like they do you, and they can't take it. She couldn't say shit. She thinks she know you worked there? Nah. <laughs> and <laughs> Act 1, Scene 6. Act 1, Scene 7. Melbert and Angela's bedroom. Melbert and Angela are awakened by... Oh! I was joking with you. 
I don't know how it happened, to be honest. I hate those people. Hate to lead you up. You don't hate nobody. Sound will kill you quicker. Okay. Well, I think they're horrible. Not all of them. You know, in fact, I met that awesome boy Tamika liked so much the other day. And he talked about fixing up 20 Webster and bringing his company in, training folks for jobs. Really? Yeah, you see? And people can do right sometimes. You just got to give them a chance. End Act 1, Scene 7. Act 1, Scene 8. The new Brooklyn Cat Cafe. Tamika's on her laptop, fully engrossed despite the sound of meowing cats. June reading from a GED prep book. <laughs> what? The zoo has been called the vine that ate the stout. Introduced in the United States at the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia in 1879, the plant was widely marketed as an ornamental plant provide shade and sunny climates. Then, the United States government funded its use to control soil erosion. However, could zoos' aggressive growth quickly crowded out native plants. As a result, the pretty green vines today regarded as an invasive weed. And now, it's not only the bane of the southern eastern landscape, it has been found as far north as Brooklyn and New York Dang! What are you reading? GED prep test. All these... <laughs> all these dang cats! Hmm. Is he coming? I've been waiting here almost an hour. He said he would. I'm tired of these tutorials. Coding is like algebra. Doing algebra all the time, but not as much fun. Just try harder! And then, the tutorials don't work. I did one exercise and it said syntax error. And I looked at it for an hour. And I realized that the exercise was wrong. Then try another website. There are lots of them out there. Dude is supposed to mentor me. You don't have to wait for him. Just keep going. How come you're pushing this on me anyway? This is not the only thing you can do with your life, you know? Coding is where the money is. I'm not motivated by money. I'm like Mama, I'm an artist. Mama's not an artist. She likes to paint. You are not an artist. I am a dancer. <laughs> Coding is an art. You just don't want to because I want to. No, I'll tell you why I don't want to. I'm looking for a honey free zone where you look around and you see, oh, there's a honey. There's a honey. But if I go on where you're at and everybody's involved is like you, It'll be a honey-free zone. I won't see any honeys. And that'll make me sad. And I'll no longer be, Bo I would no longer be Bojangles. I'll be Fujangles or Bo Bojangles. And that would be so sad all the time. What's that? That's the code for this. You see that? Try to make the browser window smaller, the layout changes to fit in the tablet or window or, or, or smartphone. I built it. It evolved to code like, wait, I'll show you. Like that. That's a lot of code. <laughs> this is nothing. You can have zillions of lines of code that everybody does a little bit, and together you build something really fresh. Like something you can really feel proud of. Code is going to be more popular than hip hop. <laughs> yeah, on Planet Lonely. Man, dude, it's taking forever. <clears throat> <clears throat> for barista. It's Caleb. I know that. I know that. Uh, do you have any experience? No, but can't you train me on a job? Sorry, experience applicants only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut. I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna take my business up for Good day to you, dude. <laughs> Tamika begins packing up to leave as Zach 
who's been hiding into sporting an elegant Ulysses S. Grant beard. Hi, Jimmy. Who's that? Wow. Did you have that beard before? Oh, got it today. Oh, well, you just left. Oh, I missed him. That's too bad. Yeah, I was uh, just in the back. Well, if he wanted to talk to you, he said you haven't been around. I explained to him that you don't always have bandwidth, but he thinks you're blowing him off. Yeah, he doesn't need me to hold his hand. Yeah. He's, uh, he, he, let him work on his own a little bit more. Just means that, you know, you and I have a little time for a sit down. We'll touch base. Did you, did you look at my website? <laughs> you made that. Yeah, I took a WordPress theme and added a lot of bells and whistles. I'm an HTML5 ninja. Uh, yeah, hey, it's okay. <laughs> it could be better. It doesn't show me what what only you can do for the team. So make a video for me. A video about what? You being awesome. End Act One, Scene Eight. Act One, Scene Nine. Angela's bedroom. Tell me why you don't like Johnny Charlie Ali. The question is, why doesn't he like me? And I'll tell you. Because he's color struck and he's obsessed with it. Yes, he is. He wouldn't notice if I coughed up a live frog and sang and did a little dance. He'll definitely spot me if I'm with somebody light skinned. And... Oh, here he comes. Fat man on speed waddle. Oh, how you doing today? Hey now, who's your friend? <laughs> well, he's here now, and we are going to play spades and eat some fish and listen to some records. Yes, I told him to bring his box of albums for you, and I want you to straighten up and fly right today, Angela. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> so simple, it makes me sad. Yes, he is a dummy. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> but what should matter to you is he's my friend. Do it for me. All right? Okay, okay. Is that Johnny Charlie Ollie I hear? <laughs> what you bring? 60s, 70s, and 80s. 80s? All right now. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Act 1, Scene 10, The Warfield Kitchen. Angela, June, Melbert, and Dolly are playing cards, listening to the last mad shrieks of James Brown's cold sweat part two on a record player and winding down from a fried fish feast. Tamika sits to the side, face again glued to her laptop. Melbert moves between playing his hand and keeping his eye on the stove. Drinking has occurred, folks are loose, but not sloppy. Angela, you like that job at the organic food store? No. <laughs> what you say, Mel? Mm, nothing. <laughs> Mama's got a super got a Mama's manager is a superhero, X-Man. I've seen a big dude in a dress. Thomas like this. Don't be transphobic, with June. What's that? Yeah, June. You're not much better. What? I, oh, I really don't care. I don't. It's, it's a little crazy, those outfits, but whatever, you know, do you. But, but Sally continues to touch on me all the time. Like, keep, 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 blip, 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 in the bathroom. I'm like, I don't want to just pee and go. Tell me about what I should do with my dress. It's, it's like I can't escape. Always looking at me. I feel it on the side of my face. I'll turn around and bam, stare at me. Just like Vincent Price before he changes into an angry bat and flaps off. Well, that, then she give me that, that big, Fake mouth only smile. You know, I I don't mess around with that organic food. Ain't nothing wrong with regular. Just trying to make black folks feel some kind of way about what they eat. And I don't mean nothing by that anyway, but so so please, please don't don't take it personal. <laughs> Came over told me I should smile more because I have such bright white teeth. I mean <laughs> You could stand a smile a little more, Angela. Who am I Google the damn clown, Charlton Olivier? Sometimes I'm just thinking. But, but I smile, and the customers still won't get in my line. They go to everybody else, look at me, and walk away. They're assholes. They can't all be assholes. Why not? How, how would you know about it anyway, Jolly Charlie Ollie? You never in the store. You don't buy organic food, remember? 
I go to Green E. It's honey central. <laughs> Sweet, sticky things everywhere. But, but, but they follow me around. Oh, yeah. Oh. When I tell management about all those dusty methods scooping food out of the hot bar with their bare hands, they say they can't do nothing about that. Not a peep. Do not. Repeat. Do not eat anything that's out in the open. I got some salad and some salad dressing in a little cup. When I poured it on my salad, come to find out somebody had stuck a big water gum in it. Yeah. They are nasty, nasty people. Rude, too. Well, how do you know who did it, Mama? Seriously, who else would do anything like that? Oh, you gotta make a book, you. I don't have any books. No books for you, lady. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't even say please and thank you or excuse me from any of that. Sorry, Ooh, sorry. They don't regret a thing they do. I get, you know, I guess they like saying bless you. If you, if you sneeze, uh, give them that. Only because they want you to thank them for nothing. So, you know, I like to sneeze in peace. But we, we can go in the hole. We already in the hole. How much? <laughs> About 280 points. Soon to be 400 because you bid six blind. Why, lady? Why? <laughs> Jim, no, tucks, oh, sorry. Jim tucks his remaining cards inside his glasses, covering his eyes and exposing what's in his hand. No books. See? Come on, Jim. Stop playing and stop. Melbourne Jr., stop showing people your cause and play your hand. Don't call me that, Dad. Why not? I, I, it was good inheriting your looks. I don't need your corny ass name. <laughs> to Melbert. Oh. What, 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 what little honey is trying to say Melbert? I hate to break it to you, son, but I heard it a lot coming up. And I still hear it every now and then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melbert, I can't resist your, your fried catfish. Give me another piece. <laughs> oh, June, cut it out. Why? It don't matter. We lost. You want some more? You know I do. Tell you that. Thanks, sweetie. That's it. 400 in the hole. I don't want to no more. June dances away towards Jolly Charlie Alley's records. Tamika? Mm -hmm. Nope, busy. You have been uh, quiet all day. Uh, all the time I've been here, pretty angel was. What you doing over there? I'm working on some other things from Zach. Oh, yes, I did. He just stay out that boy's eyes. What? Out of his eyes? Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay, swap one. You know, I, I have been trying to introduce her to the pretty bow twins. <laughs> they are good looking guys. What? Mm -hmm. Stop playing. Isn't it obvious? Which one? Not interested in eco grocer security guards. Nothing common. They're nice. So just so. Why your buddy Zach won't won't get with me for real? All I get was text messages, links to a cabinet. He's shady. I'm telling you. So click the link. I did, and I filled out a badge. And I got a badge. Yeah, but you all tight. You all tight. Tight. Uh, quit playing. Not like that. I'm not seeing anybody. I'm too busy. I got me a computer. Little lady, I want a computer. Oh, Look. really? Show me how to technologize. Technologize. <laughs> I am ready. It's not like that, Charlie Ali. There are branches in the computer science. It's not just one thing. Well, start with what you do. Tell me about that. Oh. I wish I had a little whiteboard in here to show you. Uh, I don't have the one in my room. I don't have blackboards anymore. Mama. The old mama was just playing with you. Zach says he sees me as more of an evangelist, like an engagement amplifier. What's that now? Somebody who spreads the word. People get excited. Get hey, excited. Hey, yo. But it's still good that I took all those coding classes that maybe everybody will still need to learn how to eventually. <coughs> Never. Boring. You don't know what you're talking about. What you code? Uh, I mean, uh, what, what kinds of codes, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I want to learn Ruby. Ruby sounds pretty like you. Code oh, can be beautiful. All these tiny digital bits woven together in complex structures that function the ways you tell them to. It's like poetry. 
You can make up as many new terms as you want, and when you see stuff happen, you're just like, wow! <coughs> nope. Just stop bullshit. <coughs> Scrap your 80s. Ooh, I used to love that record. <laughs> uh, I specialize in client side scripting, front end development, web applications you see right in front of your browser, the stuff that's visible on your screen, and the, the look, the way it works. Just <laughs> Ooh, look at these lyrics. Try this out, Mama. June picks up the phonograph arm, drops it indelicately on another track. Careful! As the record plays, there goes the neighborhood. The whites are moving in. They're going to bring the next of kin. Oh, boy. Jolly Jolly Ali has been moving closer to an increasingly frustrated Tamika, making a grand show of sympathetic listening. After a while, he kisses her hand theatrically. None of this has Miss Angela's attention. Oh, no, you don't. I see you, Jolly Jolly Ali. I see you. What? I'm always creeping. What? <laughs> always creeping. If it's light skin, you, you take your hair stay away. This is, this is my daughter, and she is a child. Man, the way you smoke weed with that boy all the time, and you want to talk about me? Man, man I try, man. I, I don't have to take this from your woman anymore. <laughs> this, this, this man is so color struck. Let me tell you, he jumped out on a moving car, called himself wrestling some white cop woman's purse. Yeah, yeah I heard about that, roly poly cop. What'd you look like, mama? But you had a face like a potato, but body like a noob. Man, you've been angry twice as long as I've known you. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> you know, I've already told you as many times as I can, Toby. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right, Lee. <sighs> Hold on, you got it. Y'all, she didn't mean all that, man. All he was doing was listening to me, Mama. You not know that man. I was telling him about the creative class. Mm -hmm. oh. Young makers, people who generate new ideas and new stuff. Urban catalysts like me. He was agreeing with me. Oh, so let, let me get this straight. Our, our new neighbors and the people I deal with day in and day out at Equal Grocery can do all that. A whole bunch of the, the same people coming from the same places for the same reasons. How is that the recipe for creativity? Sound, sounds like they knew they couldn't make it where they were. I mean, the beautiful people of Nuts Creek and Beaver Hole <laughs> still are still there, booping it up. They, they don't have to leave. He said, B minuses move here. So you and Jolly Charlie and your imaginary white fairy buddies, can you, let, me, let me tell you this. A lot of white people are, are stupid and so done, fo fully half are treacherous. And all of them, every last one, has a white bucket. What is a white button? Ooh, oh, if you brush up against it, you will know. Trust me, you oh, worst white people ever. Ah, um, oh wait, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm listening. Really? Go on. Uh, creative class, young talent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not everyone looks at race the way you do, Mama. I don't see it the way you do. Millennials don't see it the way you do. <laughs> You're a millennial like I'm a boomer, or, or, or a yuppie, or, or, or a gen, whatever. You see that? That is white people talking about all, all, the different, all the different shades of white people. I'm a millennial, and we're moving beyond all that. It's about what you can do. If you work hard, you'll make it. Uh, um, wait a minute. What about uh, that internship? You, you were going on and on about applying for that big internship at Soundify, and then we didn't hear about it anymore, remember? What happened with that? I didn't get it. Everybody wants to work at Soundify, so it's really competitive, and I wasn't ready, okay? I didn't show them the passion they were looking for. Next, But next time, my, my, my baby, <laughs> my baby, you will do everything right, everything, but, but it's never going to be the thing they want. You see, Megan, Ashley, Tamika, Wyatt, Zane, Tamika, whatever it is, it's, it's, it's better you every time it can't be you. Okay, mama. All right. If everyone's so bad, you shouldn't be bothered with them or want to benefit from anything they do, right? So no more email, no more Facebook, no more... Uh, I'm not on Facebook as it is. Oh, please, come on, seriously? Uh, 
And I have worked at call in Oakland, San Francisco, and at Oh, and that nice expensive nice stand you found on the curb that you love so much. You know nobody would ever you know nobody would ever like left it out, so it should go. Tamika races off stage and returns, pushing a nightstand across the floor. I, I am not a dumb beetle. They, they always sharing their garbage. Girl, leave my nightstand alone. Nope, going in the dumpster. There's a nightstand in the kitchen. Why is that? Wasn't there when I left? Never mind. June, take Jolly Charlie out of his records. June hides Jolly's minimum wage record and exits with the box. No, it wasn't you, Mama. You worked at a grocery store, so it was not you. You failed. But I don't have to, and that makes you mad. You racist. That's why I never get to see my dad. Tamika! Not my daddy, okay? Ooh, where does she come from? You know, let me tell you about Tamika's father. He never, never wanted to do anything and, and could always get funky out of the blue. I, I called him out for putting me through the ringer one too many times and he said he got that way when his blood sugar was low. <laughs> so then he, you know? And when I, when I finally told that, that loser, that moocher he needed to go, he, he dropped her on the floor to show me. But, but of course, she can't remember that and wouldn't believe me if I told her because I am the bad guy today.
get out, I'm gonna get up. It's just been kind of hard. Sally has me coming in when she wants, doing things I didn't sign up for. I'm gonna. So my my clock's thrown off anyway. You know I'm sweaty. I wake up every night at 3:15. Going on at 3:15? I can tell you <laughs> since I'm up. I cry. I don't know why my heart flutters like it's in a cage and somebody just keeps poking at me. That's just how it is for the time being, baby. But you gotta keep going till you get to the other side of this. Right. And I will. Ooh, getting out of here is gonna help. Well, don't pack up yet. Just take our time. Maybe, maybe we can figure something else out. Maybe. I'll I'll go to work tonight, promise. I need to get, get out of the house, move around. Zumba? Zumba. Yeah, and and a nice walk. I can I can make at least part of the class if I hurry. Okay, thank you for being patient with me. I love you so much, baby. I do. I, I will go to work from the gym. Angela bursting with hopeful energy exits. Melbert picks up the remote and flicks on the TV. The Tech Talk intro, even more souped up, explodes from the set. We see Tracy Moorhead and Clark David on stage. Tracy, stunned by the eye-popping lances of light swooping around them, Clark beams. Tech Talk <laughs> special report. It's official. Tony Webster, the world headquarters of awesome. The hottest, buzziest tech startup around is kicking into high gear. A jubilant mayor stood on the steps of 20 Webster with digital disruptionist, trend conductor, idea steward, collaboration amplifier, innovator, curator, high priest of agitation, human experience mastermind, and awesome founder, Zachary Connor, to announce a plan that would make Oakland even better. Roll tape. Bring in the best entrepreneurs and innovation will follow. We are going to develop an ecosystem around the Oakland brand so that the city can hella flourish. <laughs> we couldn't be happier that Awesome will be pumping his passion for transformation into West Oakland. Mm -hmm. Working with the mayor, we were able to hammer out a package to attract visionaries from across the country. The agreement includes a tax break that critics claim is unnecessary, but they're out of touch and clearly they don't know what they're talking about. What did she do? What? Clark, what? <laughs> Clark oh, are you serious? Now, let's talk about tax incentives. We've seen this horrible balloon double before. Companies promise economic growth and in return for these incentives, and then they don't deliver. I mean, and then they get more tax breaks. You, you, you moron. You sound crazy. And speaking of crazy, the awesome hoodie is insanely popular. So popular, there's a five month waiting list just to get on the waiting list to buy one. Clark, <laughs> you're supposed to be a journalist. A journalist? You're not just a journalist. Tracy, I. We'll see you at noon. And now, back to Steve Harvey and the Family Feud. <laughs> Tracy rips off her mic and bolts away angrily. End Act 2, Scene 1. Act 2, Scene 2. Mayor Young's office. What? What did you do? You gave up payroll taxes? No. I had to do it. Tech will bring in new jobs. New businesses. That boy sat right there in this office and told me to my face there were no guarantees. And I just heard him say on the TV that the plan was to attract people. He didn't say one time, not one word about this training program of his. Who's going to get the jobs? It's a big bet, Melbourne. I'll give you that. I know. But we'll win this way. Now, hungry, hungry upstarts won't eat our lunch. Hungry upstart? We, we should be calling the shots. Where else could they go? We might not get another bite of the apple. 
It's a apple, damn it. Now, I'm not going to let this happen, man. Not like this. He lied. He outright lied. Lean out. If, if we're not getting the job training or funding, then, then, then what's the point of all this? Innovation? Then I'm going to explain to the community what you said and what that boy is doing. What community would that be, Melbourne? I still know people. That's about turnout. And I still know how to turn them out, too. Miss Mabry? Miss Mabry knew how to turn them out. You? Not so much. For all your talk, what have you ever really accomplished? Huh, Melbourne? Turning them out? <laughs> Good luck with that. End Act 2, Scene 2. Act 2, Scene 3. Angela is at the gym in the Zumba class. Angela is warming up when a straggler comes in and. Oh, um, are you going to have enough room? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Salsa music begins. They all dance, seriously crowding Angela. They can't keep time. Angela gets roughed up, nightmare at the Rock Square style. Deflated, she leaves, encounters doggers in formation. They swirl around Angela menacingly as she continues along. One drops down on all fours and lets out a huge burp, all the while, all the while fixing Angela with a fiendish smile. You, you jerk! Angela stumbles into the new Brooklyn Cat Cafe and faces Caleb. Each time she takes a step forward to close the gap between them, Caleb calls out to the invisible customers in front of her. Caleb says, For here? For here? For here. When it's Angela's turn, the barista appears pointedly behind her. Who is next? Who can I, can I help you, sir? Um, uh, large, large uh, co coffee. Uh, no, 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 uh, co coffee. Uh, uh, chamomile pl uh, tea, please. A cup of uh, nice, soothing uh, chamomile tea. Uh, you want that to go, right? Uh, Get out of here. What did, you, what did you say? Uh, have a nice day. Angela takes the cup, shaking, anguish, and exits. White parents appear pushing a stroller. They swirl around her, too. In the stroller is a black doll, a doll they take out and throw back and forth in a ghastly game of keep away. Angela's eye twitches crazily. <laughs> keep it together. Keep it together. Mm. Keep it together. End act two, scene three. Act two, scene four. Angela's living room. Okay, I called the high towers, the swifts, the mares, the moors. Yes, they all thugs. Now, we might need to get some hot heads though. Uh, what about the Hamiltons? They moved. When? Any of their people still around? All right, all right. Do you, uh, do you think you can run off some flies for me? Just, just put them on the telephone pole. Yes, yeah, I, I'll give you gas money. Yes, I'll pay for the copies too. I do it myself, but I, I gotta work on what I gotta work on what I'm gonna say to the folks. I know it's cold out, but this this can't wait, Charlie. What, what? We got to get the people on here. We got to get the people here tonight. Oh, keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. And Act Two, Scene Four. Act Two. Scene five, outside Eco Grocer, Angela stands in an Eco Grocer apron. What was I supposed to do? When old Tasmanian devil in that hideous granny dress of hers came in the door, she looked me directly in my eye and right past me. Okay, you see me every day, Kaylee. And you know it's me, Kaylee. But I'm not there. Oh, K, K, K. Kaylee. <laughs> and she picked up an apple, put it against her nose, and sniffed it like, What is this wondrous fruit? <laughs> Bitch, it's an apple. 
And I'm there like, well, she she did this three more times with three different apples because because that's just what you want on your fruit, right? Somebody else's nose prints and, and then nose fall. And I didn't say anything. I'm tired of being upset. I'm zen now. Then <laughs> I I heard a jar hit the floor, and I just knew who did it. Sure enough, turned around and she skipped. <laughs> yep, right. She she skipped it down the aisle and away from the mess she just made for me. So when I come outside for a cigarette, see her hop on her bike and ride it out the parking lot, not looking, and see that car come speeding down the hill like they always do and smack her right off that bike. What was I supposed to do? As far as she been concerned, I didn't exist. So yeah, I wasn't there. Somebody else can help her happy, lucky go ass. <laughs> I like them apples. Kaylee. <laughs> I finished my rich, full-bodied American spirit. Sally steps in the view. Angela, would you mind coming to my office for a moment? And Act 2, Scene 5. Act 2, Scene 6. Sally's office. Angela, close the door. Now, let's get to the point. You tell me, do you think it's working for you here? Yes. I am not sure about that. Why? I think it's your attitude. Attitude? I don't have an attitude. Oh, yes, I think you do. Part of my job is to encourage Echo Grocery team members to bring joyful, fulfilling experiences to our customers. There have been complaints. A customer told me that you cut her in line. Is that true? That is not true in the least. In any case, I don't see you giving it your best. It's a job, Sally. I do my job. Kaylee says you didn't help when she fell on her bike. Poor sweet angel. <laughs> because she didn't see me. I wasn't there to her. So... What? I was on my break. I if somebody would. Oh, I'm peeping for you, for real. And you stay stunned? Sally, I had asked you not to talk to me like that anymore. Please. All right. All right. It's much more than a job. It is to me. It's, it's my happy place. It gives me life. And it should be for you, too. I'm disappointed. You know what you're doing, and you helped me a lot my first few weeks here. Thank you. At our next share out, I'll announce I have been promoted to store manager. Congratulations, Sally! So, <laughs> now I want to help you before it's too late. I do. And tell me, tell me, just tell me that you have a bad attitude and, and that you'll smile more, and we'll see what we can do. What? No, you can count on me, Angela. If you show me, Show me. I can count on you. You know, just repeat, just repeat. Like, uh, you know, come on, you can do it. I have a bad attitude, and I'll smile more. Okay. <laughs> That's all it takes. Could mean more hours for you. More hours. Not full time. Not not the produce manager role. <laughs> uh, I am hoping that Kaylee will move into that position. You could help her up. You could help her up to. No, you, you know, I, I don't have a bad attitude, and I'm not saying shit. So, yeah, I quit. You tried, Lynn Trip. Oh. Angela gasps and swings with the can in her hand. The blow knocks Sally out. Good morning. Pretty boy twin enters and surveys the scene. Oh, good. She, 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 she scared me. I, I, I passed the samples table and I, and I picked up a drink. Then, then, then Sally called me into her office and, and told me to kiss her ass and I quit. So I, I, I tried to leave, look up, and, and the next thing I know, she, she was charging me. She called me out my name and, and actually charged me with, with that snarl that's always flickering on her face like a Cracker Jack prize. A 
What? Well, like the, the, the picture, the present, you tilt back and forth, smile, snarl, smile, snarl, but this was all snarl with crazy eyes, and, 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 and nobody was around, and when, what was she gonna start and say it was me? It was damned if I do, and, and damned if I don't, so you know, so I did it, damn it, I knocked her clean the fuck out with this. Blam. Look, look, look at me like I'd happily cut your head off and, and wear it. She looks at all the sisters like that around here. What? <clears throat> Points them out to me, tells me go follow them, just called me a minute, called me in a minute ago just to escort you out. It's always humbug with her. I ignore Sally most of the time now. Oh, Marquand Shavanti. Marquand Shavanti. Sorry. You sure? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. I see it now. That, that's you. All right. <laughs> don't, 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 don't hug me, Miss Angela. <laughs> there, 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 there's cameras. All, 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 all around this joint. It won't look good. Oh, no. Oh, you want to get in trouble? Maybe. But, but old Sally here, here has let these kids sell beer to other kids, their friends. And I see her do it all the time. But I tell her about it, she turns her head, doesn't say nothing about it. But I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Volunteering information to the ATF. What? Yeah, the ATF is going to find out. Happened to me at last door. <clears throat> they don't play. They're going to come down on this place you just watch. But I, I'm going to have to call an ambulance and I guess the police, uh, Miss Angela. So you go ahead and go home and do what you need to do. Um, figure out what you need to do because this is kind of looks bad. I mean, Sally's on the floor with a, with a big old lump on her head. Uh, okay, twin. T -t -t Tell Mel in June I said hi. I, I will. Uh, thanks, twin. And tell Tamika I, I said too. And, and it's, it's, it's Mark Sean Quan Quan Avanti. The, the, the L is silent. Got it. And, and so, so is the P. End Act 2, Scene 6. Act 2, Scene 7. The Warfield Living Room. There is a knock at the door. Knock. Mel, uh, Angela here? No, second shift. Nobody here but me. And then where have you been, Charlie? Oh, why you just now getting here? I tell you, man, uh, I was on my way here. Didn't get more than down to the corner before this girl. Pretty little thing. <laughs> Blonde, she stopped me. And suddenly, my face was all wet. What well, now? Nah. Did she spit on you? <laughs> no, 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 no. She was blowing bubbles with one of those little wands. Felt like little fairy kisses. <laughs> oh. She had an awesome cares uh, t shirt on. You know, like the folks that got the building down for me. Anyway, she said there was a community celebration going on there and would, would, would like me to go. And, uh, I said I had to make it down here for your meeting, but she said it was a birthday boy for Miss Mabry. I ain't Miss Mabry birthday. I know, I know. So I had to go see what it was. Uh, didn't mean to stay but a minute, but then I saw the big awesome bus. It, it came up and it let people out. Everybody was on it. Everybody but you, of course. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 and it seemed like it was everybody but you. I saw your old buddy, the mayor, down there. Uh, got inside and they got looking nice already. They get, they, they got a ping pong table and a pool table and a shiny aluminum refrigerator, flat screen TVs. Uh, they all go to the bar full of lift. I go down the hall and all these young white folk playing those tiny guitars and those jugs and bongos, eating grilled cheese sandwiches. Never seen so much cheese in my life. And it, it is white bread and everywhere, just frying them up, paying right in front of you. You can get whatever you want on too. Bacon, tomatoes, onions, even more cheese if you say so. I ate three. <laughs> Had some stuff to drink, something they called pimple. Tongue started to burn a little bit. Then they gave me something they said was kombucha to take the heat off. They all seem to like it, but it tastes like old toes to me. Got my stomach rumbling. Oh, it's rumbling a little bit, so if you don't let no, it, excuse that, me. That, that, 
did, did you see Miss Mabry? How is she? You know, Miss Mabry, Miss Mabry, Miss Mabry can sit there and be all still and quiet with her eyes half closed. You think she got, she done got uh, called home? This time. No! <laughs> she fine. She fine. <laughs> <laughs> this memory ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but I swear, this time was her record. All that noise. Somebody was playing a tuba right next to it, and man, she ain't moved been for 10 minutes. <laughs> Miss Mary, something else. Sitting upright in a beanbag chair. Gotta be like 88 years old. I'm telling you, I would have rolled my butt right on to the floor. What happened to us, Charlie? Remember when we used to have festivals? Summer, you went from one park to another festival at the lake? Black Family Day, up in Mosswood, over at Malcolm X, families everywhere. Everybody saying hi to everybody, listening to bands, watching folks dance. And eating good. And all that thumpty, 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 B's and H's and stuff caught on. Now, now, how did that, that even get started? Now, how come all they had to pay off so big? It, it used to be we could all sit in the same room and listen to the same music. Now, some of that stuff that Drew listened to, ooh, give me nightmares. Well, things never gonna stay, stay the way they are, Melvin. You know that. I know that, but some of the things changed and they didn't need to. And I don't know why. It's just, just us being us. People helping each other in some small ways, coming together for a purpose. It's, it's gone, Charlie. And we just we just got off do our own thing. What happened to us? I don't know, Melvin. There's so many people just up and win. What are you gonna do, Charlie? You you gonna sell? I mean, I, I see your point about togetherness and, and all that. And you know, I always want to do what's right for everybody. Well, how am I supposed to make it if I don't say it? You don't, you don't need all that space. Charlie, you could, could fix it up a little bit, rent it out. Or, I could just trade it now for a new house every year. Trade it how for a new house every year? That's what the young awesome man told me. The girl with the bubbles took me right to him, said that he wanted me to meet, meet me special. He told me he'd trade my old house, back to my old back to cave in house, since it's 20 Webster, the lot in my place. And he said him and his partner's trying to get all the big houses they can get around here, and he can give me a new place to stay every single year. Now, how that foolishness make any sense? You just being greedy to see what that'll get you. Give me a new place every single year, that's where. <laughs> it's, it's okay to think about somebody other than yourself, Charlie. It's okay, nobody has to lose it. We could, we could come up with something to keep what little we got. Well, I came up with this. I'm not gonna <laughs> argue with you, Charlie. Just, you, you don't want to need to, you don't need to. A rock comes crashing through the window. Uh, get out of there, bro, asshole. Go back to Africa. What the hell? Where'd he go? Where's my phone? Charlie, call the police. Call him your damn self. I'm not gonna get involved in this mess. Give it. You give it back my records too. Jolly exit. End act two, scene seven. Act two, scene eight. Zach's spacious loft in downtown Oakland. <laughs> nice place. It's huge. Thanks, I like it. It's still sketchier than I want, but the city's not getting better fast enough. I'm working on it, though. God, who are those guys? On the street, five. They look like trouble. Oh, shit, we split off. Where? What, right there, four of them. Just turn the corner. Where'd that other guy go? The doorbell rings. Zach presses the intercom. Who is it? What do you want? Hey, man, I'm just looking for my sister, Tamika. Oh. <laughs> hey. Uh, he wanted to meet you because he hasn't been able to catch up with you. I know you're always doing something important, but I thought this would shut him up. It's cool. It's cool. Zach buzzes him in. June enters. 
Mr. Invisible. Whoa. Tight. 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 Woo. This all yours? Yeah. And the espresso machine. Nuvo Simonelli. Do you want to do you tell me? I already know. <laughs> Best money can buy 20 grand? You must be really into it. I'm must... so over coffee. Over it. But yeah, look at that baby. For, for real though, can I? Yeah, try it out. An awkward silence descends on Zach and Tamika. You twerk, right? What? N no. Oh, eh, no baby. <laughs> it's like hacky sack, which I can totally do. <laughs> Watch. Zach walks paper into ball, kicks it expertly. <laughs> you guys always come up with endurance tests. Wow. Wall climbing, competitive pepper eating. Hey, work hard, play hard. Tight, rope walking, planking. Planking? Okay, planking. I did once on a, a freeway overpass, but I was. It was like 4 a.m. Not a lot of traffic. I was wasted. I bet you were. And <laughs> getting punched in your junk, fire breathing. It's all so intense. What's next? Pouring a bucket of water, ice on your head. Was that a thing? Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that you got me. <laughs> really though. Uh, don't you want to see how far you can get? No. I mean, yes, but not like that, though. Let's row a boat to Hawaii. What? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. You look sturdy. Row, row, row all the way there. You and me. I don't think so. What? Oh, you can't swim? Uh, yeah, I can swim. I, I well, I guess if your whole life is on the edge. What does that mean? Touchy. <laughs> I don't intend... Would, when your whole life is scarred by violence and drugs. And I'm not. My life isn't. Oh, cool. And that's why it's so good we're connecting, leveraging synergies. But I don't. Our connection doesn't have to be perfect, right? Delight comes from the unexpected. So, Hawaii, work hard, play hard. Work hard first, though. Well, what did you think of my video? It'll get there. You don't like it. It's not our brand. It doesn't get as to who we are at awesome. We are not here to preserve the status quo. We are here to change the game. There's, there's only one winning strategy. Audacity. <laughs> I know. Audacity? What's the beehive? What is the beehive? The big, hairy, audacious goal. Think high level. What do you have the sheer fucking will to disrupt so that when we look back, we can see how irrelevant and sad the only, the bigger girl, people have to eat, right? What if people never had to stop changing the world to eat? Think of all you could get accomplished. Well, <laughs> try it. Uh, what is it? It's people. Oh, dude, what the heck? PPL. It's, it's a food substitute on steroids. <laughs> Chewing takes time that you could use to do things that really matter to you. Eating's okay though. I mean, <laughs> sometimes, right? <laughs> All the, the nutrients and caffeine you need for hours of uninterrupted productivity in one serving, right here. Chug and go. Now, did I say chug and go? I meant chug and fly. <laughs> I have been up for three, four days now. I feel amazing. <laughs> at all by design. It's about performance, not taste. If consumers were incentivized to buy it for pleasure, it would be, you know, food. <laughs> Old tiny well, food with all those distracting, unnecessary flavors, textures, or colors. <laughs> colors. <laughs> what does PPL stand for? Not a thing. It's the hook. Everybody will want to be the guy who gets it and tells everybody he does. Oh, I, I see what they did there. It's people like Soylent Green. <laughs> or, or that's not it, dumbass. That's who it's for. I can see tons of media on the name alone. A million and one memes, recipes, shortages, viral. We're talking SARS. We're talking e-fucking-bola. <laughs> well played, well played. Mm. 
I do. Okay, I think I'm going. Wait, no, don't. To Hawaii, with you. <laughs> you know something? Some people think that I'm kind of an asshole, oh. but you get me. I really dig you, Tamika Warfield. Do you believe you can fly? Zach reaches for Tamika. They hug awkwardly as he's holding her. His hand creeps up into her hair. Uh, don't call me that. What? I want to change it. Why? It's so, I don't know, Tamika? Like, call me Madison or, or Zoe? <laughs> well, I like Tamika. Sounds like uh, an Indian casino. <laughs> you? It's not Indian, though. Whatever. It's so money. Now, pitch me. No, ow, what? no. Pitch me an idea. Something that should be, but won't be until you make it. Mm. See how it feels to be awesome. It'll help you. Okay, so that's not what I'm good at. You can't work in your own silo. That's not how it goes. We are all here to innovate together. Okay, sorry. Audacious. Got it. What if... What if people weren't scared anymore? Mm -hmm. What kind of technology will make people feel it so they can live better? Mm. Wow. Tamika Warfield. Tamika, Madison, Zoe. Mind blown. <laughs> what? That's exactly what I've been working on. No. Awesome Earth. It's in limited beta testing now. Uh, a little hot in here, isn't it? It's uh, part of a few ideas I'll roll out over the next few months. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, look at you. It's, it's your turn. You sure? Yep. Zach outfits Tamika with a headset mic, feeling up her hair a little more. Now you look the part. I'll sit here and lean out. Stand up, come on, make a pitch, get it right, and we'll see if we can bake it into the awesome vision statement. What? I mean it. <laughs> I know you can do it. Okay, go. Oakland is at a crossroads. Mm, true that. Convert me. Oakland is at a crossroads as the cost of living and doing business rises dramatically in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. Oakland is emerging as the next frontier for innovation. Oakland's time is right now. Now you're talking. This. But new investments will die on the vine if the challenges have been dodged in our city for decades are not addressed. Our most critical challenge? Fear. Mm. Are you scared? I know I am. I like you, Tamika Warfield. I trust you, Tamika Warfield. We need apps that will alleviate fear so the people of Oakland can feel empowered to reach the benefit Reap the benefits of the technological change. I believe you can fly. I believe you can touch the sky. Um, uh, Popo Watcher is the app for this moment. Popo Watcher puts the power to record and report law enforcement abuses directly in the hands of the mobile device user. With a single click, the police encounters can be recorded, stored, and uploaded to the cloud compile data and reports and share them with police oversight entities, rate law enforcement's effectiveness and courtesy, learn your rights, and more. Popo Watcher will make the streets of Oakland safe so we can create, collaborate, and innovate to the best of our abilities. All of us. Zach, you were right! That felt so awesome. What do you think? Should it be Popo Watcher or just Popo? Zach. Zach? Zach snores deeply. Damn. Tamika notices Zach's laptop is open and Curious begins fiddling with it. Suddenly, there's the sound of hissing from the espresso machine, a high-pitched yelp from June, and then the clattering of metal pitchers hitting the floor. Shh! What are you ah. doing? June! Okay. I, I can still see. <laughs> June enters, rubbing his eyes with one hand and holding a mug with another. What happened? Um, I tell you, that's wild. There's no joke. For sure, I was trying to make a latte. I didn't see any milk, so I, I used this gray stuff that I found in the refrigerator. Aha! This video file is awesomer. It's named Awesomer. Tamika plays the video, and she and June watch together. Oakland, more off 
authentic, then it's prettier, smarter, more sophisticated siblings to the West. Grittier, and let's face it, a whole lot scarier. <laughs> if the awesome app match inspired you to move here, you could be wondering now if Oakland is for you. Sure, the Occupy protests were amazeballs, but some of you have tweeted at me that Oakland isn't all exhilarating riots. And the natives on the street, they stare in that way. They glare. You're afraid. And fear makes it harder to innovate. <laughs> Rest assured, the awesome Og algorithm has placed thousands of catalyst drivers, just like you, into the failing cities. You're in the right place. But to lower the fear factor, there is now the awesomer glasses. That's right. Is that Kaylee? Oh. Oh my god, what? <laughs> awesomer glasses. There it is. is that Kaylee? <laughs> what am I saying? Look at that dress. <laughs> Dude's got a base computer. That doesn't look comfortable at all. Awesomer glasses leverage mugshot database to build composites of physical characteristics most associated with criminal behavior. Slip on awesomer glasses with a scanner that can sweep a full city block and bad guy predictive functionality. You'll spot thugs before they spot you. Sounds great, right? Well, you can make the awesomer truly epic. Notice any sketchy or aggressive characters in your area? Use the awesomer camera feature to capture video of them in action. Or we'll use your images to refine the app. Awesomer will actually learn to make even more granular assessments of who's safe and who's not in your area. But how smart is the awesomer already? Just watch. Awesomer, turn on. Something is bubbling 900,000. So skip ahead so we go. She fast forwards. Is that Zach in a Apple week? And blackface? Notice as I approach Kaylee, Awesome's first placement in Oakland, Awesomer glasses defect, uh, detect no threat. No harm, no alarm. Now watch. That is Mama. Why are they walking up on her like that? Awesome her glasses beeps and... Thug approaching! Thug approaching! Why are they charging her like that and laughing? What? Don't pretend you don't see me! Move out the way! You know you see me! Don't pretend you don't see me! Tamika stops the video. I told you he was shady. And it looks like he's out there, really out there too. Seriously, let's go. Let's go. Wait! You're drinking that that you drink what you found in the fridge? Yeah. Tamika slaps the cup out of his hand and <laughs> over to Zach, kicking his feet until she wakes Zach up. You! You think my mom is a criminal? You're jacking up my mom and laughing and her using her as a as a as a as a profiling metric? She looks like a thug? Oh, what? First you act like my lame brother. Hey. It should night. Now my mother is on your scary black faces app. Black faces in Oakland. Oh, real shocking. So why even come here if it bothers you so much? What's the point? Answer me. The awesome <laughs> is what is the awesome algorithm solving for anyway? It's like you want haters here. <laughs> well, the the right kind of haters. No, no, wait. Hear me out. It's the tension. It drives the desire to create, to make everything better. Does that make sense? It, it is how the magic happens. You're getting something out of it. We're both benefiting. You give us meaning. We give you value. So don't, do not flatter yourself. I don't need you to tell me I matter. Why? Who are you? You hate food. June, let's go. June and Tamika exit. And <laughs> act. Two, scene eight, act two, scene nine, outside the war-filled home, an agitated Melbourne paces in a panic. Well, the police, they should have been here. Angie, what are you doing home already? 
It wasn't working out, no bush, so I quit. Oh, no, no, no. Did, did, did something happen with your manager again? Yes, and she got canned this time. She got fired? That too. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, the, the, uh, baby, oh, Tamika, I, I've just been so out of my mind. It's, it's like I'm going insane, and I am sorry. I, I want you to do what you want to do. Don't let anybody take your dreams away from you, sweetheart. Not like they did me. So be true to you. I, I am here. Mama. Oh, Mama. As the Warfield Sarah hug, Zach races in on a scooter wearing a hoodie. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ah! Okay, it was a prank. It was a prank. It was satire. I, I'm not like that. I'm an early adopter. I get this. What do you want? What did she tell you? Mama, you were right. This isn't about anything but them, and hating us to our faces makes them feel alive. That's what you told me. Why are you saying this? You were different. You're white, too. We made better black people. What? <laughs> you t I'm s oh, wait a minute. This is my family, and that is my dad. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. I meant white people make better, make black people better. What? <laughs> Come on, you're better off. Bike lanes, speed bumps. There's a free downtown shuttle now. Who would give a fuck if we weren't here? Would you have free furniture? You told him. I'm sorry, I was upset. It's not a question <laughs> of stopping change from happening. Cities are not static. You know the places that don't change? The, the places that are dying for innovation. The places you go to on Thanksgiving and Christmas, they don't change and they need to. So go occupy yourself. Mm. Cities are alive. There's a, a vibrant spirit now all over Oakland that could be really powerful for you. Engage! Or be one of those old grumps bemoaning those darn hipsters or whatever slur that no. you No. Cities aren't alive. The people in them are. We are right now. All this, the air smells like life. Everything and everyone I've ever known. And you're killing my community. <laughs> You call what you have a community? Really? How would you know what a good community is supposed to be, son? You left yours. <laughs> yeah, Dad. You don't know nothing about community. He couldn't even stay in his own community. What does that even say? You, 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 you got dickhead DNA for sure. <laughs> Do you know how much garbage was in this dump? Oh, no, 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 these mountains of garbage. Zach, where are they? And then, aren't you exaggerating just a little bit about that huge cleanup that gives you the right to go to everything you want? So you cleaned up on property, or is garbage your little code word for black people? Why do you always do this? Why? Why? Look, we are making it cool to be here. These manias, these frenzies, the pillaging and the plundering, the endless invaded. Why are you like this? Why? Why? Okay, okay, out of curiosity, where would you allow us to be? Oh, that's right, I'm sorry. We don't need your permission to improve this hellhole. You let these properties fall apart, that's my fault, I guess. We are not your problems to fix, boy. Try to see that. Hold on, is this, is this? This can't be an argument for segregation. How do you have the luxury of rejecting an incredible economic success? People are discovering they like to live here. They put in the effort to make their neighborhoods nicer. In five years, my mother could live here. What's wrong with that? Haven't you had enough? Don't play like you're doing us a favor by forcing us out. You're here because it's cheap and you can make mad cash. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, Mr. Home Improvement, you know what practically wasn't here before you blew into town? Gruffy. Mm. Surprise, huh? Not street art, so don't even work your mouth up to tell me that. Bruh, see, see, y'all can't stop marking your territory, so now it's everywhere. Angry, paranoid, twisted shit, you stencil it on the sidewalk so it don't wash off. How is that making things better? I mean, more people begging on traffic medians and scavenging in garbage cans, you notice that? I notice that. You're lying. No, you're lying. You don't, you just don't care. Because that's, that's the city of your dreams. People should be desperate for crumbs. Your crumbs, and there should be lots of traffic. White folks busy and in a hurry, can't stop, don't care. 
lethal shit is definitely gonna happen to other people by accident. Now you get a nosebleed trying to pay your rent now. Why? Because Josh and Jen love their little game of driving up the cost of living. All you do is compete and mob this and crowd that, mobs and, and hives. Oh my, ba baby. <laughs> are, are you people? Are, are you ants, motherfucker? Predators, pestilence, woo, stuck you by. What? <laughs> that, that, that's not my that vocabulary test. I, I read, yo. How is this better for anybody but you? <laughs> you know, Melvin, Vegas is, is too damn hot. And when they get when they get sick of their own shit, they'll follow us anyway. So, 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 hell no. We are not going any damn where I am standing my ground. This is where I live, and I shouldn't have to go. So, river dance your way right on up. You don't have to win. You don't have to win. Zach sputters in a fury. Everyone looks at Zach's crotch and the alarming rage erection that suddenly sprouted in his hands. Mama, Daddy, I can't even. Oh, I can't even. You stop messing with my mama. Oh, 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 oh nah. That won't let happen. I'm gonna push you so hard you'll never wipe your shoe or tie your butt again, boy. Wearing a leg brace races onto stage. Hey, wait a minute. Don't hit him. Can't you see that he's mentally ill? What is wrong with you? Stand back. He needs help. Amidst flashing lights and the squeal of tires, the police finally arrive. Hey, what's going on here? Sir, did you call for the police? Yes! What's the problem? White bastards busted up my window trying to scare me and my family. They stole my iPhone. Drop it! <laughs> they dropped the phones. Drop it! They look at each other, panicked and confused, pointing down at their phones. It then dawns on Angelo what's in store. No. Bang! No! Bang! The war phones reach for one another as bullets tear into them. We could have gone to brunch! <laughs> We could have had a brunch summit! Hugged it out, but no! They wanted to demonize me because I'm white! Stupid. That's reverse fucking racism. How are they? Are, are they all criminals because they're black? Do they know how hard it is, all the pressure I'm under to get this absolutely right? I'm an entrepreneur, people! Not the enemy! Progressive as the next guy, and and more than most. War fought fields have fallen one by one as that right rants with her last bit of energy. Angela reaches towards Zach. <laughs> I'm not privileged. I'm a nigga too. Oh. 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 Awkward. Oh. <laughs> I had it the whole time. Oh. Sir, you all right? Oh God, I was so scared. Can I have some water, please? Don't worry, we'll get you some. Oh, can we stop at Arby's? I'm kind of hungry. There was nothing <laughs> in here. There was literally nothing but garbage here. That's tough luck, kid. They walk off stage, lights down, in the Act 2, scene 9. Act 2, scene 10. Zach and Kaylee stand behind the conference table at Jolly Jolly Ollie's house. On the conference table are a pair of Ossimer glasses and a glass containing people. They are still wearing what they had on from the previous scene as Kaylee removes her bandages and arm brace and Zach replaces his hoodie with the black turtleneck sweater and says. So, what are the key takeaways after Awesome's first year? A couple of things. One, innovating ain't easy, people. Innovating is not easy. <laughs> Two, Stay true to your roots. Making life better by bringing the right people to the right places at the right time is what we do as a company. Not alt food, not wearable tech. Stay in the scope even as you scale. And that's what we're doing today. Welcome to Community Reimagined Launchpad. <laughs> there was nothing here except rundown properties. But with our partners, Rockstar Real Estate Entrepreneurs Rich Johnson and Dixon Cox, 
We've transformed a wasted single family home into the Idea Incubator, where 10 tenants, 10 of the best and the brightest, are safe to create, collaborate, and innovate. Yeah, there's a ton of uber cool amenities too, like a killer vinyl collection, but it's real value proposition, honestly. Diversity. <laughs> Diversity makes Launchpad special. From bumfuck Arizona to bumfuck Michigan, from white to Asian women, from 20 to 30. Launchpad has curated an amazing collection of digital natives to ideate in new ways to bring Oakland into its own. I know, right? <laughs> it's awesome. And now, Haley, team leader of our first co-living cohort. It's Kaylee. I kid, I kid. Kaylee will let you in on the team's first initiative, the Wheelhouse Projects. Okay, um, so we're still in stealth mode. <laughs> so all I can tell you is the solution to affordable housing crisis is eco-friendly and portable. We really wanted to unveil a prototype with the first proud owner. Help! Help! I can't stand up! I can't turn around! <laughs> We're still um, iterating on the minimum viable product. This is a doghouse! Isn't it? This is a goddamn doghouse! Okay, even if Rich and Dix could scoop up every foreclosure, there still wouldn't be enough property for everyone. That's just like the new normal. But not everyone would want all that space anyway, right? Well, space will not be a problem with Wheelhouse. They are tiny. <laughs> <laughs> now, with city change, people complaining because, oh, I'm sorry. Now, with city change, with cities changing, people complain because they won't have to stay where they are and they can't fit anymore. So they can like totes, take their families and friends with them and go away. <laughs> totes, and nobody would care or stop them. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. Wait, wait, it's just cardboard. I want my whole place back. <laughs> Epic, Epic. <laughs> Kaylee? Oh my god! <laughs> you know, over the past year, with all the incredible ups and downs, <laughs> you've made me happier than any man has ever been. Will you marry me? Yes! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> you get me, Kaylee. You really get me. The awesomer glasses on the table beep. Oh. Looks like the battery's just about dead. The beeping fades. Zach continues. I love you all. We failed fast, but we failed forward. And we will continue to iterate like crazy until every city in the world is exactly how it should be. It's a privilege to have you by my side. Thank you all for your the glasses beep again. Thug approaching! Thug approaching! Thug approaching! Oh, Miss Mabry. <laughs> Um, happy birthday! How did you get in here? <laughs> oh, no you don't. It's not my birthday and I walked into my friend's house. <laughs> my name is Eloise Mabry and I live yonder on Market Street. My husband and I bought our home in 1948 for $5,000. Been in it so long, it feel like my own body. The last few years, white people, pretty ones like you all, <laughs> uh, <laughs> come up to my door asking if I want to sell, and so many of y'all come leaving notes. I just threw them away without looking. Now I come to find out that there's a lien on my home, and I got to go. Y'all building up all them cracker box apartments everywhere, but. I gots to go. Oh, couldn't make the sale, so y'all kicking me out. Well, I am 88 years old, and I seen a lot. So, I want you to hear me when I say, voiced white folks ever. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. 
out. <laughs> Each and every one of you. I got a few years left in me and I'm coming for you motherfuckers. <laughs> now, who's with me? Me, Miss Favorite.